All right. Ooh, okay. Last few times I wasn't streaming. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's do our best here. Okay, e4, e5. Oh my gosh, queen h5. Is he going for a skull? His mate Ikaru. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Hikaru, odds odds that he falls for the checkmate. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. <laughs> All right. So now let's see if Slicker brings out his bishop. He does. Just don't play queen f. Don't play knight f six, Swifter. All right. That's better. He didn't drop e five, and he's kicking the queen out. So maybe something like queen f three. Mm -hmm. And now he'll play knight f6, and he's fine. Although, I guess then Slicker can continue to try with, like, knight h3 and knight g5. Hikaru is, is too nervous to say anything right now, chat. <laughs> he'll, he'll be able to talk again once there's no more checkmate threats on the board. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. And uh, let, let's take a li listen on Slicker. What? Please, please. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes. Once I hear movement, all I wanna hear is something weak move. Come on, come on. He's come praying, on, he's on. praying for the mate. <sighs> Can't afford to lose this man. Look at me, I'm 800, level 865, and he's level 540. If I lose this, then you need to remember I am shit. I am shit if I lose this. Need to analyze each angle. Oh, shit. See, he fucking <laughs> knew. He knew. This is what I respect about the Buerem. Okay. Let me move this here. I can move this here. Alright? And then um, I, 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 I can take this... And then he can't do shit. He's going for the tricky ideas, so even if they're not the best this. ideas. All right. All right. Yeah, I think certainly um, he, he could get hit. punished here by by Slick or by Swiftor here. Swiftor plays knight to d4. Black is doing very very well potentially. Yeah, knight d4 is a really nice move, kicking the queen out of the way, putting the knight in the center of the board. And after he plays bishop g7, even if knight g5 comes in, he can just castle and protect the pawn on f7. Um, right. It's just mm -hmm. important to find the right moves here. Yeah, I mean, knight d4 is very strong, bishop g7 is fine. As, as long as he doesn't panic here, I think that... Uh, I, I think that, that Swift will do very... Oh, and he plays knight d4. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Is... Okay. Chat. This is I off mean... to a very poor start for Slicker. This is not the opening that Slicker wanted. I don't. I don't really understand why he played this. Um, it feels like he it... underestimated Swifter. Because if this is the idea and it backfires, you can add a blues in the game very early on. So I, I, I'm uh, very confused by his opening choice by by Slicker. And in a way, I kind of hope he gets punished here because he's played a bad opening. He went for the cheese, and he deserves to be punished. Well, let's see if Slicker sees that he has to defend C2 with a move like Queen D1. He's going to be down a lot of tempos here, but at least he won't be totally lost. I mean, his knight's also yeah. on H3 on the side. Yeah, I'm, I mean, but now pawn to D5 and it's already winning for Black. Not that not that Swifter will find D5, but if Swifter plays D5, Slicker is already in a in a world of hurt here. Um, yeah, I mean, if yeah, he finds D5, ugly. this is legitimately ugly. And if he finds e5, I mean, he's also opening up his bishop to maybe take on h3 and ruin white's king side. Um, yeah, it, it is, is a tempting move, but I could see him also going for bishop g7 instead, which is also fine, honestly. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think there are many good moves, uh, but it is kind of amazing that the way this trying to go for the form of checkmate has backfired here for Slicker and, you know, the difficulties he has. Well, let's listen on Swifter because I'm curious if he's going to find um, the accurate plans here. Okay. I move my bishop. I'm going to start developing my pieces, I think. Um... I move it over here. God, it take too long to think. But then I block that one. That was probably not the move. I know. I just I need to move something. I'm using too much oh, time. Oh, he he he's getting stressed about his time situations. But at least he sees idea d five, right? Even if he's mm -hmm. a little slow with it. Yeah, I think c six is a very good move here. So I I like I like. That what he did. Obviously, it's not as good as d five. But nonetheless, he is going to push the pawn to d five next move. So if I'm slicker here, it's already time to sort of bail out. Maybe play pawn to c three. Um. I have a feeling Slicker is going to go knight g5, but after knight g5, he forces black to push the pawn d5, and then it really right. gets ugly in a hurry. So, right. um, yeah, I'm very concerned for Slicker at, at the moment. Yeah, you don't want to... It, it's a one-move threat that actually forces your opponent to find the correct move, as you explained, so that would be a big mistake, I think. Slicker should just go for a castle, realize that he went, to, he went for a cheapo, it didn't pay off, and now he has to fix his position. Yeah, this is um, yeah, this is not looking good. It's not looking good at all for for Slicker, and um, I'm pretty concerned now after pawn to d5 here. Right, which is the natural move because he set it up with c6. Um, he does have six minutes on the clock. Slicker has eight, so he's two minutes behind, which is not too bad. I think it's just already in Swifter's psyche that he gets in time pressure, and it makes him more nervous from what we heard when we were listening in. Right, yeah. So I think certainly um, this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. But if, if Swifter can play a couple of moves pretty quickly, just get the king out of the center of the board, he'll be, be set up very well to um, to potentially capitalize on on the the opening choice by Slicker. So just next couple of moves should be very critical. Absolutely, and I'm curious. So other than d5, he can also play moves like oh. Why? No, why on h6? Why not just a g7, a nice, normal square? Yeah, but square? Uh, bishop, bishop h6 is not such a bad move here. Like, it's not the best square, but I, he probably did it to stop knight to g5, actually. That's probably why he put it on h6. Right, but the problem is um, he might leave it there later on when um, Slicker finally gets his development, and then I'm worried that he's going to forget about it and blunder a bishop. And the reason I say that is because I've seen similar patterns in his other games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of players when they when they when they have the opportunity to fion 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 keto the bishop, they tend to put it on on the square like h6 or a3 rather than g7 or b2. So certainly, I think it does happen, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what Slicker comes up with here. All right, and he goes for c3, which I like. He's pushing the knight out of the center. Um, he also has a square he can put his queen on if he wants to then try to play d3 himself. Right, so I think here knight e6 is, is required. Um, again, it feels like every move the, the, the game sort of goes up and down in terms of who is better and, and who's worse. So I think we just have to, on every turn, there's going to be a lot of tension as far as who makes the first mistake. All right, well... Swifter is getting now close to five minutes on the clock. At, at what point do you think he should actually start being being nervous about the time situation? Probably, I would say, at four minutes, especially if he hasn't gotten the king out of the center of the board. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so I, I guess he'll retreat the knight, and then castling the king is an intuitive move for him, and he's been finding those kinds of moves in the opening. So I think he'll be able to get back a bit of time in these next next few moves once he moves the knight. Right. I think it's it's very important that he moves the knight here. He has to move the knight. Uh, if he doesn't move the knight, then uh, it, he's probably going to end up end up losing, unfortunately. But he's he's got to move the knight here. Well, let's listen in on Slicker. The, the knight, uh, the bishop. And we are switching to him H now. Six. Oh, come on. Could move this, this, and this. What if, I, what if I do that? I could actually do that. 
I could actually do that. I could, I could potentially threaten it. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because if he goes here, he could take my bishop. Oh, but then I could take him. Hmm, that's pretty smart. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did he do that? I could go for this. I don't understand. I'm, I'm also confused. confused. Hold on. Please, God, tell me I'm not fucking up. I'm going to do it. Please, God, tell me I didn't fuck up. Please. If he comes here, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. Well, he took the free piece, and now Swifter is, is in trouble again. Yeah, I mean, I think Swiftor just, he's not seeing the, the sequences. He's, he, he sees the threat, and then he starts thinking about other things, and then he forgets what the original threat was. And unfortunately, um, in this case, I think it's going to prove, prove, prove fatal for him in this game. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Um, and now he's also under four minutes on the clock. Um, I guess the next question is, do you think he's going to survive the opening now or that he's going to get checkmated soon? I mean, I don't think he'll get checkmated uh, soon, but I think in general it's just a very tough kind of position to play. Very low on the, very low on time. Already behind by one night, and um, it just it feels feels difficult. Right. So, if you were giving him advice here to try and save the situation, what would that be? Um, I think mainly he's just got to develop his king. He's just got to get the king out of center, push the pawn to d six, and um, and try to develop the bishop and the rook on the queen side. That's that's first and foremost what he needs to do. Um, mm -hmm. Whether, whether he can do that or not, we'll see. But I think that's what he needs to try to do. All right. Well, hopefully we'll, we'll see a castle here. And then for Slicker, it's still a little tricky because he has his entire queen side underdeveloped for now. And it's not super easy. For example, the knight can't go to C. The knight can't go to c3. The pawn on d2 mm -hmm. can't move. His queen is on d3. So it's somewhat awkward development. Um, let's take a listen on Swifter and see how he's thinking about the current position. Got to get my queen working for me. I gotta can't forget the castle. But it makes sense. If he moves like a pawn or something, I'll I'll castle. Or me. Very rude. Well, he still seems pretty relaxed. That's I guess a good sign. Right. I mean, I think the main thing is Slicker is using a lot of time still. Um, yeah, and Slicker definitely is is a better player. So he's need to needs to be a little bit more confident. Mm-hmm. So, let's see here. So, he moved his queen out of the way. So which is nice because he moved the pawn soon. Mm -hmm. A castle now will be in the same rank. Mm, I don't want to fall for a trap. I castled. I think I should be okay if I castle. Make sure there's not any hanging pieces from him doing that. So he moved his queen. No. Let's do it. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Shit. Uh, this is where the rush moves start happening. I expect Slicker to try and go for a D3 soon. Oh, he played B3. I would have really liked D3 because then he would have tried to trade off mm -hmm. the bishop from the king's side. He'd have better attacking chances. And there's also a chance that um, Swifter would miss the bishop. Right. So, okay. So... Uh, so for some reason, Slicker is not saying that the pawn on e5 is under attack. Um, but nonetheless, he's do he's he's doing he's doing quite well. He's up to extra bishop here. So I think mm -hmm. in general, um, the, this is still very much in control for for Slicker. And especially with the time situation, the fact that uh, um, Swiftor does not have much time here is definitely going to play a big role. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense here. Um, so. His knight on b1 is still not developed. Do you see any ideas that you think would make sense for Slicker to try and launch a queenside attack soon? This moves like queen h4, or is it just too slow for right now? 
and um, I at think his level it's, too. it's a little bit slow. I think the issue for Slicker here is that he can't develop the knight or the rook on the queen side. Um, mm -hmm. and the fact that he can't really develop those pieces could hamper him in the long run, but I don't think it's going to really matter that much since he's so far ahead on the clock. Well, uh, I don't know if you just saw that movie, Caro. Ah! Yeah, Bishop takes Fuck D2. Yep. Me. Yep. Yeah, just um, unfortunate. Obviously, Swift or a little I bit newer to the game check. and just not 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 seeing that taking the pawn. Uh, unfortunately, loses the bishop. So it's uh, yeah, just just a tough tough game, really tough game for uh for Swift or. Right. Um. So now he has to deal with with being down two pieces here. He has some pawns in exchange, but it's not going to be enough. He's also down two minutes on the clock here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think Slicker is going to convert this pretty cleanly now. I just unless unless Slicker gets confused by something or he blunders a bishop or something in the next like two to three moves, I don't really see how Swifter can come back because of the clock. Yeah, um, I, I guess the only way he'd even have a chance is if Slicker does some kind of crazy blunder, like plays Queen H four and takes on H seven without seeing it's defended. But the way Slicker's mm -hmm. been playing, I don't. He, he hasn't been making big blunders like that. He's actually been pretty tactically sharp. Yeah, the blunders he's made have been relatively minor for the most part uh, and throughout the event. So so I, I don't really see it happening. But again, you never know. Something could happen. You could think for a minute. Oh, whoa, 96. Oh, my gosh. He hovered over the E6 square with his Let, Let's take a look at his stream and, and, and see what he was about to do. Think, bro. Think. Well, I think we'll learn and I'll leave. Just think, just retreat, but retreat. <laughs> and you. Tell me what this just no he, he, he Garu, I predicted it. Take it, take it. Oh no, take don't it, wonder you slicker. <gasps> I lost my game. Oh my god. I just lost my game. Uh Tom. Oh, I threw the game away. Just a blunder. Just a blunder. Please tell me he doesn't see it. Um. <sighs> Please. I don't, I don't think Swift so sees it. By the way, he's he's under one minute on the. Oh! Um. We. Yes! Ah! Yo, we won this, lads. Wait, did I win the poor oh, man? Nah, I don't. I don't. That was a shit game because he he would have played it good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I can't. It's not checkmate. I'm not sure what we just witnessed. Um. Let's listen to Slick. Uh, Slick. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry. Uh, was to Swift or see if he missed it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, no. He just realized. That's actually really sad to I've see. I've got a way to go. I oh, mean. No. My queen is defending my bishop. He's not going to go in there and take it. At least I don't think he will. Let me think this through. I go to this diagonal. What am I forgetting? Gonna take my rook. He's got a move. He's got no time. He's got twenty nine seconds. Um, but that's okay. Gotta make a move. Yeah. Gotta he, make a move. Twenty two, twenty one, twenty. 
All right. Well, he he's speeding up a little bit. That's going to be important. I mean, the, the he has. Oh, oh my no, god. No. It's uh, the time. The time situation, I guess, is pressuring him to to play quicker and, and miss these moves. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's not easy to play with twenty seconds. Um, but yeah, that was really a missed opportunity with the queen on h3. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, obviously at this point, Slicker has three extra minutes. Um, so I don't think we're going to see any more drama in this game. I think it's certainly possible, but um, but I do expect Slicker to convert this pretty cleanly. Yeah, I mean, he has three minutes and just up so much material here. He's pretty close to checkmating. I mean, it's hard to see, but he could go for something like bishop takes d6 and then try to chase the knight off of f6 with his bishop to go for the mate. Right, um, and I, I think there are many different ways that white can win here, but I do. I, I'd be, I would be stunned. I literally would be stunned if uh, if Slicker somehow were to mess this up again. I just don't think it can happen. That that would be the biggest choke we've seen the entire tournament. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, now he's threatening Queen G seven. Yeah. So you have to take the bishop. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess theoretically you could still push a pawn to d2 and make a queen. Uh, but, but yeah, realistically, there's just... there's Right. No I mean, here. imagine he plays d2 and uh, Slicker doesn't move his rook. That right, would right, be, right. That, that would be okay. insane. Okay, push the pawn. Push the pawn. You got to push, push the pawn. The Come pawn. on. Come on. Give us one one last, last thing to hope for. Come on, Swifter. Let's go d2. Don't worry about the mate. Oh, no. <laughs> push it. He's got 10 seconds. You got to... Uh. Well, there there goes that pawn. Um. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Now. Now I think. I mean, with no time, it was very, very difficult. Hard to play for Swift or. Seventeen seconds. Okay. What What else can you hope for here? Um. I mean, there's still back rank opportunities right but it's just you would have to play a move like rook c8 to bait it which right yeah i just i i don't really see it happening here mm -hmm. um and i wonder if slicker will see knight g4 okay mm -hmm. it goes rook d7 okay rook c8 come on rook c8 <laughs> oh yeah rook c8 would be so beautiful you gotta try no no wrong piece to the, the first rank not the bishop Um, it's it's a time situation. It's a time situation. <laughs> this is hilarious. <sighs> and now Queen H seven. Yeah, exactly. Checkmate. So bad. I just don't like that, mum. I didn't deserve that win, chat. I well, just didn't deserve that um, win, mum. Mum's life. Was, I don't. I didn't deserve that, that, that win, mum. A... I'm gonna see it right now, dude. I don't care, man. The guy was. That, that was I feel... a tough game for Swifter. He is relatively newer to the game and these are things that are hard to see we did know that slicker was the favorite going in mm -hmm. yeah, and certainly. playing 10 minute time control when you're new is actually hard because if you only have a few seconds to make a move of course it's going to be hard to do something you start panicking because you realize you have no time and you know what it can happen to everyone so we do yeah. understand and he has been just trying to learn from the experience mm -hmm. yeah I, i think certainly it's uh it's very It's very it's very tough when you're so new to the game. I think just trying to trying to make moves quickly when you don't have time, it's just it's not natural and you're always second guessing yourself. So um it's it's unfortunate, but I, I would say the one upside for uh for for Swiftor is that he had chances. Like he he did he missed this free queen that he could have captured. Yeah, let me he, just um, quickly bring that he up. He had the on chance the board. of opening potentially to be to be better, but yeah, it was just very, very tough. Right. Very well, tough. chat, we'll be back soon. We're going to take a quick break and then we will do some player interviews. Dude, I was so mad. Why is this on me? I'm just eating. I'm eating a sandwich. I'm eating. I got no... Chat, I got no low W's for you. I'm eating a sandwich. I'm eating a 